Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to list your rental property on Trulia. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Trulia web application, which of course I have done right here. Now, I'd like you to know that Trulia is an American online real estate marketplace, which is a subsidiary of Zillow. It facilitates buyers and renters to find homes and neighborhoods across the United States through recommendations, local insights, and map overlays that offer details on the commutes, schools, churches, and nearby businesses. So now that we know what Trulia is about, let's quickly hop into today's test, which is how to list your rental property on Trulia. Now I'd like you to know that you cannot directly list your rental property on Trulia. All right, you have to list it through the host website, which is Zillow. Now, as we read earlier, Trulia is a subsidiary of Zillow. So for you to list your rental property, you have to list it on Zillow and it's going to reflect your Trulia account. So head over to Zillow. So this is Zillow. Awesome. Now from Zillow, I'm going to have to head over to uh, resources, price my rental and post a listing. So I can click on post a listing or I can even head over to the uh profile tab and head over to profile and post a listing from there so i'm just going to click on this post a listing tab so it takes me to this window where i can now post my listing or invariably add my property so let me just go back so post a listing and click on add a property so to select add a property it's going to take you here which is the first step so what's your first name let's go with Amy and Mac let's say I'm a landlord number of properties one then click on the next button Step two, now let's add your property. The basic information sets up the property in Zillow Rental Manager. Then you can recreate a rental listing for it. So street address, okay. So from this window, we're gonna have to add the um, address, which of course I've added here. Then property type, let's say it's a house. And the unit number, if applicable, the 23 this is a room for rent with a shared living space if it is then click on this checkbox if it's not just leave that and click on next step three is this information complete and correct yes the address should exactly match the usps validated address for the property and once you confirm you can you can't edit the address including adding changing or removing the unit number so you have to ensure that this is correct but this is not correct as you can see they're just fake addresses i'm just using that for the sake of this tutorial if you want to edit the property information you can click on that to edit or just go ahead and click on confirm all right that's it i've been able to add my property so screen renters with uh, here's a free application, upload documents or create a custom lease for signing, collect rent payment at no cost and can set up a payment. So these are the things that you can add to your property. So that's pretty much the process. So you can list your property for rent by clicking on create a listing. It's free to post and just uh, a few minutes. So I'm just going to go all the way back and you can see now this is overview and this is my listing i've already added this so move over to the listing so so this is it i've been able to add my property so i can compare property with others so i can take it to the listing tab for me to this off market because i've not launched it so your listings completeness needs improvement full attend listing competition to help attract qualified renters so i can click more on that or i can just click on list your property so here square footage how do you now list your rental property 
So let's start creating your listing. So this square footage, okay. I don't, I don't really have an idea how this works, but let's say twelve, and total bedroom. Let's say two total bathrooms. Two, and then click on next. Okay, describe the property. All right, I'm just gonna put anything here. It is great. I'm just trying to add what I want to add. It says my description is weak. Well, that's that's. Next, how much is the monthly rent? So let's say two thousand dollars. Do you want to promote this? No. If you want, you can click on the add and offer button. How much is the security deposit? Okay, let's say five hundred. Okay, it's it. I should set it as it's fine. <laughs> Recommendation there. So the next, what's your pet policy? Yeah, small dogs allowed. Cats allowed to have cats. So click on next. What should renters know about this? Okay, that's the least terms. Okay. Renter is responsible for gas and electric. Then next. So I cannot add photos to my listing. Treaty tar that add uh, via. Zillow 3D home page or Excel link. If you want to do that, so let's say I want to add a picture. Yeah, the other word to download. Yeah, add this. So if you want to add more, go ahead and click on more. Next. General amenities, yes, balcony, furnished, hardwood floors, dishwasher, pool, bicycle storage, central window, whatever that is. I'm just clicking anything. No, so, attached parking. If you have additional amenities, just go ahead and add that. So I'm just going to click on next. Where's the laundry located? Okay. Next. Who's listing this property for rent? Property owner. That's me, my name, my email address. Okay. Add your email address and get verification code. So, just going to do that. Quickly get my code. So I've verified my mail. Next is a click on next. So verify my phone number as well. Click on this add phone number button. So the next step is for you to verify your phone number. You're going to have to add your phone number and verify that it belongs to you. So after doing that, go ahead and click on next. And then the next page is going to be review for you to review all of your details and then go ahead and publish to add your listing. So this is pretty much how you can list your rental property on um, Trulia via Zillow, which is the source website. So I'm just going to click on save and exit.
all right so it couldn't save my progress okay that's awesome but then that's pretty much the process so follow through with the on-screen prompts to create your account or follow through with the on-screen prompts to create your account on zillow and add your listing on zillow after adding your listing is going to reflect in your trulo website account so that's pretty much the process you can go back to try from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video marvelously helped you search